there's tons of videos hyping up TikTok shop and TikTok affiliate, but I don't really see too many showing the ins and outs of how to actually create product videos that will actually get you sales on your products and actually convert TikTok viewers into paying customers. Now, there's primarily three different ways that I approach creating videos for these platforms. And in this video, I wanna focus on a method that anyone can do with pretty much any product in about five to 10 minutes max. It won't cost you an arm and a leg like it normally would if you tried to out source this process to a UGC creator. It won't take you all day to film and then edit yourself. And the best part is you don't even need the product on hand with you to make a great video. So the first thing that you need is obviously a good product, right? This goes without saying, but you should have already done your product research and identified what products are already selling well for other people on the platform. Start there. That's the low hanging fruit, right? This is an example. It's an auto face tracking tripod. And then the the next thing that you need to do, because we're going to run it through a software called Creatify AI, which is an AI software that's going to take a product listing anywhere online, use the assets that we give it from that product listing, be it pictures, videos, text, and the information on that listing to then create a product video for us that's very, very good in about two to three minutes. And obviously we can edit it around and prove it. But the very next thing that you need is a product listing that has a lot of different assets. Assets. So an example of this product, I found a few of them that are very similar. This is a good example of a listing that we could use because as you can see, there's a lot of high quality images here that again, the AI would pull from to make a good video, but there's also customer review videos on this listing, which again is another high quality asset that the AI will use. There's eight on this listing to then pull from, take different clips of the video that makes sense and turn it into our own product video. This is another example of one right here, right? So six videos on this one, again, high quality images, high quality videos, a good listing. And generally speaking, Amazon listings are always going to have good detailed listings. The more information, the more assets that you give this software, the better the end product that you're going to have is going to look like. Now, of course, we can edit it around. I'm going to show you how to do that all here in a second, very, very quickly within the AI software. But you want a good starting point that has a lot of good assets to begin with. Again, this is another example, six videos on this one. Now, if we scroll down to like other related products, and we click this one that looks very, very similar. This one only has 146 reviews. And again, no videos here. So if we gave this as the listing to start the AI software from, it wouldn't have any videos to actually pull from and clip from. So keep that in mind. The listing that you start with, it doesn't have to be Amazon. I just personally try to find that product on Amazon when I'm using this software, because again, you can find a high quality product listing with a lot of information, good product videos, and good product pictures to then create a better video output in general. So since we already found one, let's choose this first one right here. So all we need to do is copy the URL of this product and take it into a software called creatify.ai. Now I will link creatify AI in the description if you want to try it out completely free. And once you sign up for the software, you will be taken to a screen like this where you can create your video by clicking create now. Then the next thing that you're going to want to do is as you can see here, you can upload assets manually. So if you have your own product videos already, then you can take them in here and upload them manually. And that will again, affect the output of the edit that you will see in the next few steps. Or like me, since we've already found a good product listing that has videos, pictures, etc., already, we just paste that URL of that product that we copied in here and then click analyze URL. So then once you copy the URL in there, you'll see that the next step is to choose the video settings, right? So obviously if we're making this for TikTok shop or TikTok affiliates, we're going to keep the aspect ratio at nine by 16. Video length is kind of a subjective choice. I've played around with all of them. In the beginning, it's a lot easier to make a shorter video that's 15 seconds long than it is to make a long one that's 60 seconds because obviously the script's longer, the edit's longer, so you have to adjust it more. So we're just gonna keep it 15 seconds for the sake of demonstrating, but I would say test each one and see what works best for you. Sometimes if you have a longer video that's good, it can be a better one because it can accumulate more watch time. But again, at the same point, if you have a shorter one that's 15 seconds, you can have a higher watch rate a longer percentage that average people or average view duration, as they call it on YouTube, watch through. So it really depends on the video quality. I would test them all. If you have a specific target audience or 
target buyer, you could put it in there. I'm gonna keep it 15 seconds and obviously language English. Then you click next and this should take a few seconds to optimize and give you the assets from that listing. And so the next step is to pick the script. And as you can see, the AI is gonna create different scripts based on the information that we've given it from the listing, right? The product description, title, etc. And it does a pretty good job. Now there's several different options here. It's gonna give you three reasons why you should purchase, discovering this product, story time, an emotional response. And if you generate more, it will obviously generate you endless amounts of scripts that you can choose from. Then you can select them and edit them if you wanna take a specific name out, or if you kinda of just wanna adjust them so that they're in your own words a little bit more, you can do that as well. You can also put a DIY script in there yourself if you have a script already, or maybe you're emulating another script that's already worked for another popular video. You can then, again, just DIY it there, paste it in there, but again, make sure that you're choosing the video length because if you have a long script, but you've chosen a 15 second video here, like we just did in the previous step, it will cut it off at 15 seconds. So make sure that they're aligned. If you click generate more scripts, it's gonna generate more scripts for you. My personal favorite here is usually the problem solution script, because I think that that at least anecdotally works the best. It presents the problem that the target buyer has in most cases, and then it will present the product as the solution. So here are more ones, right? Let me show you. We have one specifically for Gen Z. And if you keep generating more scripts, eventually it will generate you the problem solution script if it's not already there when you do this in the beginning. But let's read through them and find a good one. Hey everyone, wondering why you need this auto face tracking tripod? Here are three reasons. Effortless 360 smart AI tracking, a hefty battery for long shots, intuitive gesture controls, and then the call to action is ready to level up your content game. Get yours now. Trust me, it's a game changer. That's not terrible. Let's see the emotional one now. Every moment counts, but some are just unforgettable. I'll never forget the day this 360 auto face tracking tripod turned a family gathering into a timeless memory. So you could go with either one. Let's do the three reasons why. It's kind of basic, but it's a good example to kind of show you with a product video. We're gonna select that one and then click next. And now the next step is to pick your video format, right? The visual style as they call it. Now there's several different options here. As you can see, it's gonna generate an AI avatar. And so you can see the different examples of the AI avatar. They pick this guy. There's several different avatars that you can choose from. So if you click avatar over here, you can pick a different figure. They have girls, they have guys, they have people with different voices and different accents. They all pretty much do a good job. Now, when you watch them in preview mode in the next step, it's gonna look like in preview mode that they're not speaking in conjunction with the words. Don't let that fool you because once you export the video, they will be synced up perfectly and it will actually look like a normal human is speaking the words to the camera. You will not be able to tell, right? It looks a lot better after rendered, but they're not giving you the full version until it's rendered. So keep that in mind, right? The preview is not gonna look right. But that said, I also wouldn't have the main focus be on the avatar. In my opinion, you want the main focus to be on the product. So you could pick one like this where the avatar is small. Again, it's gonna be a lot harder to see that it's an AI avatar, even for the trained eye looking for that, if it's a small avatar and the main part of the video is about the product. So this is a good one right here. This is a solid one right here where he's kind of just in the corner. I wouldn't recommend just going avatar. So if you go side by side or one where the avatar is a lot bigger in the actual video taking up the full frame, that's usually not the way that I'd recommend that you go, but you could test it. So again, if you click full screen, then you could see the avatar is on the full screen. That is not what you want. And then if you play it right here, like I said, you can even see the warning. This is not the final video yet. To get accurate lip sync, select the visual style, and then you have to render, right? So don't go off what it looks like here. He will be saying the script in conjunction when you render it. But I would avoid the full screen. Obviously, you want the avatar to be smaller or don't use an avatar altogether and go for this one. If you focus mainly on the product, at least anecdotally for me, it seems to work a lot better. So I'm gonna select product now, and then I'm gonna click the editor to edit the video. Now here's the fun part, right? So you can see it pulled from all the assets. It's got music. It's got the voiceover that we gave it for the script. It's got the active captions. It's got the text. It's got the avatar, which if you don't like the avatar, you could always just hide the avatar here. So let me show you avatar down here. You could just hide any of these if you don't want that. If you don't want the music, again, you can hide it so that there won't be music in the video. This is just like any other editing software, the basics at least. Now, I would recommend that you mute the music anyway and just add your own commercial music via TikTok on TikTok shop. The reason being is the majority of the music that you're gonna get on here is gonna be fine. But every once in a while, you're gonna export a video that has music that isn't commercial and then your video will get muted on TikTok when you post it. Now, that is gonna be annoying because nobody wants to deal with that. So just always as a rule of thumb, mute the music in the editor and then export it and then add music again in TikTok 
if you want to. You don't need to, but if you want to. Obviously keep the voiceover. Now for text, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna adjust it. So if we click script, you can obviously see the script in there and you can edit the script here, right? So I'm gonna take out, hey everyone, we don't need that in the beginning. Wondering why you need this auto face tracking tripod, question mark? Here are three reasons. Effortless 360 smart AI tracking, a hefty, they don't need to know the specs of the battery, a hefty battery that never seems to run out, and intuitive gesture controls. Ready to level up your content game? Get yours now, trust me, it's a game changer. And obviously you can switch over the voiceover if you wanted a female or you wanted somebody else specific, you can just toggle down and select a different voiceover. Now, if you wanna change the text style here, you can obviously edit it around, change the font, change the size, change the color, change the background color of the text. And then if you wanna apply it to all, you just check off the apply to all button here. I'm gonna leave it for the sake of just showing you in this video. Now assets, you can see all the different assets that it pulled from. A lot of these are videos, again, demonstrating the product from the URL that we already gave it. And you can see that it kind of just took little portions of these right here. This one's a long one, so I might actually shorten this one down a little bit, drag this one over, and then we're gonna add another image in here to make it a little bit longer. And you can see I just added that one in by clicking the images here that were already down here. All the assets are shown here, so I just drug one of those into the timeline. And now I'm gonna adjust them all a little bit more just so they're spaced out like this. A good rule of thumb here is to keep it like three to five seconds each one because A, you wanna change them frequently, and also B, you wanna avoid any potential copyrights that you're gonna get on these videos. The final thing that we're gonna do is go down to the CTA here. Now, here's where you can put in your brand logo. What I like to do here with a brand logo is I'll come in and I'll put an arrow so that it's pointing down to specifically where the TikTok shop link is. So I'll use this red arrow. It's just a transparent arrow PNG. And then you can drag that down so that it's pointing to exactly where they should click when you're calling for the CTA. And you can see right here, it's saying, get yours now, level up with ours. It's then gonna blur the video and show where they should click. Now you can put the text here for your actual CTA. You could say something like grab yours now. You could say like 50% off now. You could say selling out fat. Like there's a lot of CTAs that you could test, but this is just the basics. And then again, you could drag that all over wherever you'd want it. And so now let's play it just to kind of see what it looks like. And we can adjust things as we go. Hey everyone, wondering why you need this auto face tracking tripod? Here are three reasons effortless 360 degree smart AI tracking, a hefty 3000 mometer. And so this is a perfect learning opportunity here because what you can do with this software is it grab this asset right here, which doesn't really make sense when we're playing the video. So all we need to do is click this specific asset right here and switch around the asset in this video. So let's try this guy right here and drag him in instead. And then it's gonna show us, we can pick different parts of this video, obviously. And so now that we're trying a different asset, if we wanna pick out a specific video and a specific portion of that video here on this guy showing the product, what we would do is we click crop over here and then you can see you can obviously drag to where the actual product is and you can even drag this slot in the video to where he's showing the product in use and as you can see you can do that for pretty much any video so if i drag her version in here we can edit that around as well by clicking crop which will allow us to then pick the portion of the video from that actual asset as well as show the different angle in the video that we want so that the product is in there and so there we go this is what it's going to look like hey everyone Wondering why you need this auto face tracking tripod? Here are three reasons. Effortless 360 degree smart AI tracking, a hefty 3000 mometer mAe's battery for long shoots and intuitive gesture controls. Ready to level up your content game? Get yours now. Trust me, it's a game changer. So not bad. It probably took me a few minutes to edit that around. The longest part is actually waiting for the assets to upload to the Creatify AI software. But this is a game changer because it allows you to then create and pump out tons of videos very quickly. You don't need them on hand. You don't need to pay an editor or a UGC content creator an arm and a leg to make these videos for you. And as you can see, it gives you total freedom to edit the video very quickly within the software to make sure that it looks good. And then obviously when you're done, you'd click render. Now, one more cool thing that I need to show you that actually Creatify just actually actually launched is their AI avatar. So if you click AI avatar down here, they just gave the ability to actually upload your own avatar here so that I can now make videos 
of myself without actually having to get on camera and speak, right? So you can see I literally just uploaded one myself. The process is very easy. So from the homepage, you wanna go to that AI avatar that you see, and then you wanna upload a video that's shorter than five minutes and less than 10,000 megabytes, I believe, of you just talking, right? So if you are somebody like me where you have a lot of videos already, it's gonna be very easy for you. If not, then just Google an article, record yourself on your phone talking, upload that to the AI avatar. It usually takes a day or two for them to actually review it and approve it. And then the next step is simply to record the actual video of yourself, giving them permission to create your AI avatar, which looks something like this. I, Brian, Brian Guerra, Guerra, hereby, hereby give, give my, my permission, permission or Creatify to use my footage. My footage. You're just reading the script that they tell you to basically grant them access to create the AI avatar for you. And then going forward, you can use yourself in the video if you want to as an AI avatar reading off everything just as realistic as any of the other AI avatars that are already up here on the software. It is literally mind blowing. So obviously you can have yourself on video showing it, or you could just have yourself off video recording the actual AI voiceover and saying it aloud. So again, it's going to sound like you. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I've tested it for about a week now, and it's not a hundred percent perfect with like the mouth yet. It does look very good. It's not perfect. It's improving. But what is scary realistic is the way that you sound, right? It's pretty much nailed my voice to the point where if I put a script in here and had the AI avatar read it, it would sound just like me. And obviously to like somebody that knows me very well, every once in a while, it's going to enunciate a word. Like I might not enunciate it or say a word slightly different, but overall in the vast scheme of things, it sounds very like creepily like me. This is a game changer. It's going to allow you to personalize the videos a lot more and even create an entire page based on an AI avatar, whether it's somebody like any one of these people like you see, or creating your own AI avatar without even you needing to get on camera to do it yourself. Test this out. It's crazy, but that's Creatify AI. And that's how I'm able to pump out tons of videos very quickly, very cheap without even having the product on hand. You can also try Creatify AI completely free through the first link in the description. And then you can upgrade from there. I believe the first upgrade is like 30 bucks. The second upgrade is like 45 or 50 bucks. And you can continuously upgrade as you can see here by just clicking the pluses and the minuses on the creator plan or even upgrade to business if you want to. And as you increase your videos that you plan on exporting a month, it gets progressively cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So for those of you out there that say that this is expensive, first of all, it's not compared to either outsourcing to an editor or a UGC creator. It's extremely cheap. But on top of that, as you increase the volume of videos that you're exporting, they give you a drastic discount on the actual subscription. So it's not expensive at all. And you can use this to pump out tons of videos very quickly. Hope it helps.